wow. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Hey guys, it is the night before, you know what I'm saying? This weekend, I am going to see my YouTube friend. <gasps> Amir Hanks. <gasps> I got my camera foggy. You stupid. I am excited. I am very excited. This is my first collab. Like, I've had people in my videos, but this is my first official collab. So I'm excited. Um, I'm vlogging the going to Philly. This is also my first time taking the bus. <gasps> I've heard a lot of uh, things and they're mostly bad things. I don't know why I'm kind of feeling this little hair right there. So we're gonna leave it. But anyways, I wanted to come on here the night before because I know I'm gonna be like kind of all over the place. Plus I'm going to be there from Friday to Wednesday. So this is gonna be a... Uh, a doozy. And I might be getting a tattoo, but we're not gonna talk about that yet. I really wanna see what really went down this weekend. Okay, boo boo honey kitty, boo boo honey kitty kitty boo boo honey. This is me at 2 a.m. I'm actually super excited because I have a fit for every single day that I will be there. So the Instagram pictures, oh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should definitely follow me on Instagram and all of my social medias at the same handle because I am cool like that. I don't know what's happening, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, bye. This school done turned up on me. It's raining so bad right now. Okay, it's not even raining bad. All right, so boom, it's raining right now. I just got to the CU. I did not text Amir yet that I'm here, mainly because I kind of want to explore this. Boom. First of all, they don't finish the cut. You see this? I used to live here. This is dirty. Boom. It's east. Did it just start raining harder? All right, I'll get back to y'all later. Where the? Boom. Am I? I'm just walking around. <laughs> Point. So I'm here. Amir does not text me back. I told him I was here. I'm just walking, I mean. Ooh, don't make no sense. I think I'm gonna call him. I don't know where I am. I'm just kinda around. Amir. I'm gonna fight you. Yeah! We just gonna continue exploring, you know what I'm saying? You know? You know what? Let's do a little dance on him. What? I'm just around. I don't know where I am. I'm just here. First of all, why is it so quiet? This ain't the floor for me, bro. This ain't the floor for me, I me. Mean. to the first floor. Oh, my knee hurt. Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. I know they mad they never popped off. I then thought I found Amir's room, but I was very much wrong. It was not Amir, and I'm glad I did knock on the door like I thought of. And also, why the f <laughs> did I fix my hair? Yeah, so I'm very glad I didn't knock on that door because I was really contemplating it for a long time. I'm not the type of person to like just come knock on your door, and then I don't live here at that. I don't even go to school here no more. Hello. He went back. <laughs> Maybe it's me and my connection. It's me, it's me. I probably look so stupid on their cameras like What is she doing? Who even is this girl? So boom, I get here and I didn't realize that the bus station was not where the train station is Even though online it showed me that it was literally behind it Which it wasn't It was like down the street and around the corner from it Which wasn't a problem So I got off, looked on maps, realized that I was down the street and around the corner Took the bus down the street and around the corner Waited for Deasia on the swings Deasia got there And... After DeAsia got there, insert clip of when DeAsia first saw me. I can't run. I can't run. I'm a little crippled. I like this one. I don't want to get up. Hi, daddy. Hello. Hi, baby. Hello. Oh, my God. Hello. Then we went to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Her mom came with us. Give me the book bag now. You lucky I can't run. You lucky I can't. Mom, I love you. Don't judge us. Give me the. She think I'm playing with her. I'm not playing with you, Naya. Naya, I'm not playing with you, cuz. Stop hiding from me. I still see you.
I'm gonna beat her up. And then we took the bus to her house. The specific bus we took was such a mistake. First of all, by the time we got on the bus, every single school in America, I swear, was getting out of school. And it's all these kids on the bus and it was so crowded. What was I saying? And the bus took literally forever to get to Deja's house. Mind you, it's raining at this point. We on the bus. We get off the bus, we had to walk down the street. I am hungry. The only thing we had were like pretzels, and that's all we got to eat. We got to her house. It's like 5 o'clock at this point. I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting any eat because we were going to order something to eat. I'm not getting any eat. I really have to go. Then I remember my dumb self completely forgot I had to buy hair dye. And I brought one specific color, but I wasn't dyeing it that color. I just bought it just in case, you know, you want to mix and match. I don't know. So I bought that color and then forgot I had to buy the other one. Then I had to go to the store, buy the hair dye, and then took a lift here because the train would take too long and I, I don't want to be leaving literally midnight you know you know what I'm saying so yeah but I will come back to you guys when something interesting happens or when I find a mirror <laughs> wait, wait are you like downstairs yeah okay I'm about to come downstairs then okay so I called I swear it was my wi-fi I think it was my wi-fi no one saw me fall Hi. The net. I'm so happy I did not knock on that door. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, you're so much taller than I thought. Really? I'm so tiny. Oh my God. I'm literally a midget. Oh my God. <laughs> but you know what? I needed to be known in the books. I was the first person here before this Ooh. was even built. <laughs> I definitely broke into this building before it built. <laughs> oh my God. Mm-hmm. A whole new world. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Like, this is such an upgrade from Xavier. Like, oh my god. Xavier is like the oh. projects. I swear we had nicknames for all of them. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. No, East he... was like super, like, what was it? East uh, was bougie. Woodcrest was Hoodcrest. And Xavier was just the project. Oh, no. We we still call wood, a Woodcrest a Hoodcrest. But the last, the last year, we um we, we called we call Xavier Ho, Ho Xavier because that's where all, all the hoes were at. And then we called um, East Yeast because like, there were some girls who had like a yeast infection in there. Yeah. <laughs> Bless up to the new building. Oh my god. We're here. I oh my god. Pause. I swear it was my Wi Fi because I was literally calling you mm -hmm. for like ever. <laughs> I, I was, was like, yo. Oh no, it might have it might been because like, I was asleep for, for, for like, like a hot minute. <laughs> so I. Because, like, this one took a nap. <laughs> yeah, I literally woke up. I was like. Oh, shoot. They want to cover up all these scandals. Yes, I'm calling you out. They want to cover up all these scandals about what all scandals? the scandals. Girl, let me give me the tea. <laughs> tea. But you know what? We're gonna say we're gonna save the tea for the tea. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Oh, um, hello. Look at these beautiful brownies that we just made on Amir's channel. So go subscribe to him down below to see the video of us making brownies and spilling tea. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Are you ready Here to you go? Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello and welcome back. Dude, this is so strange because I changed my <laughs> intro and I don't really have much of an intro. Hi guys. Hi everyone. I'm here with the one and only, the infamous Amir <laughs> If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> We're doing a collab this weekend. Super great and fun and fresh and yes, cool I'm and so quirky. Glad to be her. Oh my god! <laughs> it was so great. So I don't have my dyeing my hair shirt on. But I think you should know what time it is. We're dyeing my hair, but I'm not doing it this time. Amir is. I let him choose um, whatever color he wanted to slap on my hair, mainly because I don't care. And I'm a rainbow anyway. The color he chose was sky blue, so I went to get. Sky blue today. Beauty guru. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there we go. Sky blue. And I also bought with me Fiesta Fuchsia, just in case, you know, you want to dip and dab. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens on my head. But we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Are you ready to look at my hair? I'm ready. <laughs> I literally have to get this camera. Like, it is so cute. I kind of live for it. No, I'm telling you, the moment I buy this camera, I'm going to be like, I I'm a real YouTuber now. I'm no, seriously, I started flexing. I was like, <laughs> Thank you. I'm, no, no, no. I'm still broke, but it's fine. I literally went broke over this camera, but uh, I'm famous. So, so wait, don't I need to like section your hair though? 
Or we don't do that on my channel. Oh, we don't. Oh, we don't section. We do everything Brad Mondo tells us not to do. Welcome to my ratchet Ooh. salon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. Like I said, my head is your canvas. Period. Do what you want to do. Okay, you know. We're just gonna. Okay. I really thought about it and I was like, yo, I should do this as a series having like just people dye my hair mm -hmm. Unprofessionally, of course, because we, right. we right, right, do right. because we don't know any like professional like way to do this We're not we're not even sectioning her hair, you know, no, so like, we literally, it's totally fine. what you're supposed to do is just take some hair and just Slap, slap it on, on there, you know, just and then like, just pray that yeah. something happens. Well, yeah, just pray that something happens. You know? Like, it, we're not even worried about like if it turns out terrible because, like, you know, you know it's, it's and about then you the can experience. Always, you can die over it. Right, exactly. It doesn't even matter. Like, for real. it's honestly all about the experience. It's like my favorite pattern. Yes, like, the, it, I love dyeing my hair. Like, honestly, no, but like, my aunt and uncle, since they are like older, they like hate it when I dye my hair. Like, I remember I first, I, I always went with like blonde, and then I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna try the whole rainbow. So then I did red. That was fine. But then like it faded to like this ugly orange color. So I was like, um, no. Oh my god. And then like after that, I had bleached. Well, not really bleached over it, but like I lightened over it. And then I was like, we're gonna do green. And so like now I have this green color. And then like I'm thinking my next color is gonna be like lavender. Like please I'm, yes. Yes, I'm definitely doing like a lavender color because like I. <gasps> Oh. The dye. oh, thank God. The amount of times that's happened to me with the dye bottle like completely open and I just dropped everything. Stop. Scared the Ooh. out of me every time. Oh my God. If we look back at one of my videos, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to send it to you so you can put it in your video. Like literally in one of my videos when I was talking about like my roommate, um, yeah. like, like my old roommate, like you can see that my eyebrows were so f***ed up. Like... <laughs> What is going on here? I was like, oh my god, I did not post this. My makeup evolution is something else. Yeah. Like, the bricks that my eyebrows used to be. Baby. No, like, honestly, I go to class looking like a bum every day anyway, so. Literally me. You know what? Do we really need to, like, be dressed up? Like, like no, my first day outfit, best Snap. outfit I ever had. Snap. Yes, I snapped snaps. off on the Insert bitches. picture. Yes. He snaps. Oh, my God. Like, literally, like, my first day picture, I was like, oh, yes, yeah, sophomore year, I'm here. Exactly. And then, like, after that, it just went downhill. Like, I think I had, like, a 2.8 last semester. I was kind of upset about that. Like, I'm an overachiever, so, like, I yeah. expect A's and B's. And when I have, like, C's in my report card, I literally start to cry. Like, that's how, <laughs> like, I start to cry. I'm just like... Uh... <laughs> Yes, like I, I like, tried like, don't, so like, hard. Yes, like don't get me wrong. I get my work done. I am very about my work too. But like, I'm also about like you know, I want to go out. Like, I don't want to stay in the dorm all weekend. Exactly. Like, I, just, I was I was too focused like, on like social life. stuff. I just wanted to have a life for once. Right. Exactly. Because like I never I had a life back at home. Like I never went to parties. I exactly. never did any of that. So once I got to college, I was like, I need a life. I'm in college, doing, doing, doing the damn thing. In debt. In debt. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Like, I don't understand why college is like so expensive for no it reason. Be free. It really should be free. Did you go to Catholic school like, like all your life? No, high school was the only time I went to Catholic school. Like all the other times I went to like public schools, and I was supposed to. I was trying to go to Central, but like my grades. <laughs> Best. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't go to Philly, Central is literally the best high school in the entire city. Like none, like no other high school can top it. So I was planning on going there. Actually, my sister went there. And so like, you know, like me and my sister went through like middle school together. So like I wanted to go through high school with her, you know, so I can just like look, look over her and make sure she's okay. I was like, you know yeah. what? I guess it's time to go to um Catholic school. So I chose Mercy Vocational, um, which is now Mercy Career and Tech. Because mm -hmm. um at first I wanted to be a chef. And then I realized, wow, well, most chefs don't really make it on Food Network so maybe I shouldn't because like I don't want to end up at somebody's poppy store like cooking cheesesteaks all day. See this is what I'm talking about a lot of people think you gotta really like make it super big to be doing it like or even just making a living mm -hmm. but like I realized it a lot because like my mom even knows a mm -hmm. lot of people and they're like not super known but they're really doing good for themselves mm -hmm. like she has a friend who owns her own restaurant and she Ooh, has girl. what I think she has a couple restaurant and she has another friend who's a photographer yeah and he does photography for like he did queen latifah's mother's funeral who gets into queen latifah's mother's funeral like Girl. you really gotta have connects for that yes <laughs> and then like it's not even like you can show off your work well mm -hmm. i mean it's not like you want to show off your work for right. a funeral because it's kind of sad you have to just turn in your sd cards you can't even see what the pictures look like because yeah. they don't want you to like leak any pictures or anything that's serious connects and you're not even like a super big out yeah there, like, like i'm not saying i want to be super 
super big, but like I wanted to be a good enough chef where I can make a living, and like that's really hard. And I was like, yeah. do I feel like going to culinary school? Not really. I was like, I gotta choose something else. And then you know, like I was already doing YouTube and stuff like that. Like yo, my YouTube journey. Girl, let me talk about it. Tea. At first, like I used to try to be like Alicia Marie, fucking. Like, oh my god, like I'm gonna do all these DIYs, and you're like, oh my god. And then I was like, you know what? I can't do this no more. Like I'm, I don't even live in, in that kind of neighborhood to be doing all that. Like, 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 bitch, I live in the hood. Like, I'm not, no, seriously, like, yes, like I'm not even that kind of bitch to be doing all that. I was acting like I lived in the fucking suburbs. Like, girl, I live, I live near, near, uh, near Broaden Alley. Like, let's not even. Well, you live on top of top. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, you know what? I gotta change my content. So then I started doing more like calm videos, more like just vlog based. And then like I finally found out my style. Basically, what I call my YouTube style is like lifestyle, but like comedy in it, you know? Like yeah, yeah, yeah like comedy lifestyle. Because like my life is just full of <gasps> <sighs> yes, yeah, it's just full it's just funny. The things that happen in my life are just Ooh. ridiculous. Seriously. <laughs> yes. See, my family's something else. I go to my aunt's house one day. Next day, 15,000 new things that you wouldn't even have thought could happen have happened. <laughs> and she got 10,000 stories for everything. Oh my God. Like, I just want to stay there for like mm -hmm. two days and record everything. Right. Like, even she says it. She was like, You know what? Like, seriously, somebody needs to put some cameras around here and not even tell us because you can't make this shit up. <laughs> and I was like, no, seriously, like, you cannot make this shit up. You would not believe. Sneak peek, my little cousin almost got kidnapped right in front of their house. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? You right across from two schools and two churches. Broad daylight. She and just left the house. Here goes somebody pulling up right after. Talk about some. And the old, the oldest excuse in the book. I got some candy in my car. You I got no, some candy in the did. back seat. Honestly, like living in Philly, like everybody thinks like, you no, know, like literally, I think people who like visit Philly only visit like downtown or maybe even like old city. They're like, oh my God, this city is like so nice. Like, I don't love it. Like, there's so much to do. Girl, you, you have not seen the real Philly. Let me just tell you, you haven't seen the real sh. You have not seen the hood. You haven't seen Broad Broad and Alany. You haven't see, seen the See, that's Northtown. why I'm glad that like I have friends that live like in different parts of the hood. Right. So I can really see what's up. Like I can yeah. I can always go to the city, but I can always go to where the city exactly. really is if I really want to see. Yes, so I really like, never like listen to a lot of like like I listen to rap music. Yeah. Like I like it. I love it. Mm -hmm. But like I was more of a like dubstep. I listen to a lot of pop music. Oh my god, pop music is I, I can't lie. I was a believer. I was a Justin Bieber stan. I never really liked Justin Bieber. I mean, like, I listened to his music, but then I was like, mm -hmm. I was over there like, baby, baby, baby. Oh. So, ooh. <laughs> I was too black for the white kids, and I was too white for the black kids. That's just how it was. I was always the Oreo, mm -hmm. cause like I, I was always like super proper. Like yeah. I was always very well spoken. Mm -hmm. I never used yeah. like, slang. And yeah, stuff. I only started using slang when I got to high school. Like, Honestly, yeah. It was this? way different for me. Like, everybody would be like, PNB rock, PNB rock. I'm like, okay. and then, like, slowly and steadily, I started becoming just like the black kids. It was so different for me because like, I was so used to listening to like predominantly white music that, like, I knew yeah. nothing about like black music at all. Like, if you ask me, like, I mean, uh, what's like an old school black song? <laughs> I gotta tell you. I'm See, sorry. Like, that's where I'm like so different because I grew up with like all this like old school music. Like, but then as I'm growing up and then being around different groups of people, I became accustomed and well, not even accustomed, but I was discovering new things that I like. And it's yeah. not even like the people at Ooh, like. Oh, I got a great idea. Let's do like a split thing. Oh my god, this is gonna be so cute. It's not even that like these people like were like, oh yeah, you should listen to this. Mm -hmm. It was like I was just being introduced to different. Genres that yeah, like, I don't I hear. was kind of introduced to like rap music and stuff, like I never really paid attention to it because like okay, so here's the thing. At first I only listened to gospel because that's what my aunt and uncle always played in the car was just like yeah. gospel music. And so I was like, Oh my god, I praise Jesus, like oh my god, I don't do anything wrong. I'm smart. <laughs> You see these ooh, knives? This ooh, might as well be a comb. And then one fateful day, I got introduced to 102.1. And um, I heard my first ever pop song. I was like, I want to magic. Yes, I fucked with this. Ooh. Yay. 
Yay. And so yeah. like literally like I started listening to only pop music. I remember it was like my 18th birthday. Oh my god, I'm gonna send you pictures of, of like my outfit on my 18th birthday. It was so fucking terrible. Um, they, we were choosing what music I should play, and like I had a whole playlist together of like equal pop and rap, and they're like, Amir, no one listened to Katy Perry, like this at the third, and like that kind of discouraged me. I was like, damn, like no one really listens to my music. So, like I couldn't even play my own music on my own party. Like that was kind of sad. Yeah. Sad, 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 sad childhood vibes. I really like hated it because because then it's like, I could be in the car with somebody. They changed to like 92.3, well, New Jersey 92.3, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like pop music predominantly. And I'm like, oh, I like this song. And it's like, this is white people music. And I'm like, oh what? my God, I hate that. that it's my... not white music. It's just music. Oh my God. I hate when people say that. That's like, like my biggest pet peeve. Yes. When people say, oh, this is white, white people, people music. music. Oh, you're acting like white. a white person. Like, yo, here's my thing. <laughs> how does music how, how does music pertain to your skin color like i don't understand exactly like it's exactly like when hip hop just came out and everyone was associating hip hop music with black people and violence. Just like when we listen to pop music, the industry is predominantly white and it has been for many, many years until recently when we've been transitioning over and we automatically associate that type of music with white people. Sorry, I was angry and running out of breath. Life will always just be this like, oh, you're not allowed to like this because yes. of this. Oh, you're not allowed to like boys because you're a boy. Boy. You're yeah. not allowed to like girls. Hey, Sean. Girl. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, I done ruined your YouTube. No, video. you're good. You're good. Yeah, no, we uh, we we were just talking also talking about our sad to childhood. So how was work? <laughs> and then like also like I didn't really tell my family that I'm like gay yet. Like here's the thing. Like I don't care if my family knows I'm gay. I just don't they want them to ask. Already know. Yeah, they probably already know. But like the thing is like I don't want them asking me like a bunch of questions like But are you on medicine? Do you take crap? Like do you do this? Do you do that? Um, do you have a boyfriend? Like oh my god. Like come on. There's a specific portion of my family. I'm not gonna put anybody on the spot. Right. But y'all know who you are. I hate when you're raising your children to be like, oh stop, that's gay. Right. Like, let them just live their food. Exactly. No, no, because like every time that I would like put my hand on my head you're or just, something. You're just literally creating homophobia. Like, yes. Also, you're just creating close-minded children and they'll never be able to fully understand who they are because you've been keeping them from who they are these entire time. Yes. You're just making them hate people for and no then, like, reason. Yes, and then like my thing is like, I was always judged for like all the feminine stuff I did uh, around yeah. my family because like, you know, I have a very high-pitched voice for like someone my age. And so like people would like, always say, so you can't like de deepen your voice. Like, um, I'm sorry, do you want me to get like surgical, like vocal surgery? Like I'm confused. Exactly. Oh, Oh yes, Sean, we're um, we're talking about like gender um stereotypes. Mm -hmm. Get into it. Yes, get into it, sir. Yes. <laughs> I don't got time. I just had a long day at work. I remember one time, you no, know, I, I used to go to therapy when I was like little. Um, I'm the story about that. I, we're not even gonna talk about that. And like my aunt had came in once and I was talking to my therapist. I was like, like my aunt always thinks I'm acting like a girl, like this at the third. And so they was like, well, maybe we should take you guys into a therapy session. So she came into my therapy session and then she was like, you know, like I understand why a marriage like this because he always hanged around with his cousins. He never had like a male figure. I'm like, but that has nothing to do with the way I act though. Like, honestly, like, I don't think my cousins made me gay. Like, I don't think that's like, that's not how sexuality works. And I hate when people say like, I don't want my child turning gay, you're gonna confuse them. Like, bitch, that's not how fucking exactly. sexuality works. You can't turn somebody gay. Like, I don't want to be a faggot. Like, what do you what you say like because that's how people really be like it's not even like they be, like here's my thing if your child is gay they're gay like that's just that. I, like no and it's you, nothing that yes. you put in their head yes. it's and just people, they made that choice But like, and people be like, I'm uh, not, and people be like, I'm not gonna have grandchildren. Like, bitch, it's called adoption. Like, they want biological adoption. Get a surrogate. Ooh, yeah. There's options. Yes, there's other options Calm to down. have grandchildren. Like, oh my god. Like, but no, and no for those ignorant people. And yes, I am video bombing this YouTube video. <laughs> get, in, get into it. Get into Go it. Ahead. Go ahead. To those ignorant. Beings out there. Mm -hmm. Being gay is not a choice, okay? Period. 
It's really not. Like, no, if people think you choose, you chose to be gay. No, bitch. Did I you choose to be straight? <laughs> exactly. Right? Did you choose, choose to be, be straight? straight? No, listen, I was gay when 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 I came out of my mom's <laughs> Like, let's just get that straight. <laughs> like, we just had to figure it out. We just had right. to figure it out. So being gay is not a choice, but it is a choice to whether you pursue mm -hmm. it or not. Yeah. Right. And right. we gonna leave it at that. If you wanna pursue it, go ahead. If you don't, girl, I don't know what to tell you. You're just be living your life in misery. Just be fake. Right, just, just, be, just fake. be fake. No, like, I remember I did have sex with a girl once and like, that shit was trash. Like, I <laughs> Like, I did not know what Let's I was talk about yes. it. It was like I did not know what I was doing. Like I did not get excited at all. Like that was not a rush. I was on a rouse, not one bit. And no, and no, we and no, we, we, we were like getting like into it. She was like. Why are you still like flat? I'm like flat. I'm, I'm like, dying. I, I don't know. Like, what do you want me to do? She's like, oh my god, your f is whack. I'm like, oh Ooh. girl. Well, I mean, your f is drier than the f of Sahara, but we're not gonna get into that. Um. <laughs> then like when I had had like my first time with a guy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, it was amazing. Like I literally came back home with like a limp. Like he wore my ass out. I was like, no, literally. Because like, I remember like my my aunt asked me, "Are you okay?" I was like, "Yeah, I just, I just, I just really, I fell on my." So that's what happened. <laughs> the crazy part is she actually believed it. The world needs gay. Period. Yeah. Can exactly. we like, can we like get like a gay president or something? Like I would be so for that. Can we please? The can next we talk thing about no. Can we talk about the hip hip crop hypocrisy hypocrisy whatever hypocrisy hypocrisy? Mm -hmm. Can we talk about the hypocrisy? I can't stand <laughs> it when ignorant black males they'll be sit there and be friends with a we can't say that word. I can bleep it out. Say what you want. Dyke. Mhm. Mm they can be friends with a dyke and stuff. Yes, but, but like they, you can't be friends with like a gay male. Like I don't get that. It doesn't See, make because sense. like like I feel like people found out that girls like girls. Oh wow, that's acceptable. Oh my god, that's so hot. Like that's then, so sexy. Like yes, girls liking girls. It was men. attractive to me. Yes, but then but but then like but we, then we, we hear about guys being with guys it. like ew. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Exactly. I'm like <laughs> no. What? It's the same what's the thing. difference? Exactly. What's it's, the fucking difference? I don't understand why no. No, because I feel like boys are like, oh my god, no, he's gonna wanna fuck me. Like, no, I don't exactly. wanna fuck you. And if I did, I would have been dead, period. Right. That's kind of like the same situation I was talking about in my last video about, about the fucking ugly boyfriend and his, and his ugly um girlfriend. Here's the kicker. He admitted his girlfriend head was trash. One thing for sure, two things for sure. I said shirt and oh my god, what's in the dark? Come to the light, exactly. period. <laughs> yeah. And that's on board. Like, no, because he would be, be thinking that they can just say anything to me and think it's okay. No, no. they think because you're gay, you're soft. Right, no, no bitch. Serious. I'm sorry, I'm not. You don't know how to fight and defend yourself. Like, yeah, I may seem soft on the outside, but on the inside, I will beat your ass. Swear, oh, okay. just because you're gay, oh, you're gonna fight like a girl because you're gay. Oh, okay. oh, you can't, you're not even strong because you're gay. At the end of the day, I still got a head. Yeah. Like, who just think that, I, that they can just say anything out their mouth? Like, no, you can't. I'm sorry. I'm saying you're like, exactly, like, I was really gonna fight somebody. Um, <laughs> my <laughs> sat there and took punches. <laughs> Oh, T. I'm about to tell a story. I've never gotten into a fight before, mm -hmm. but I've gotten beat up before. I used to like babysit. Well, not really babysit, but like I'd be at my aunt's house and I just so happened to be there when she was leaving and she quote unquote put me in charge. My little cousin, right? At the time, I was probably like, what? I was like 14 or 15. I'm watching my little cousin and he's 10. His two friends, both 10. His two friends really get smart in the mouth with me. I was staying there for two days. Second day comes, I f I'm ready to smack somebody and I've never smacked somebody in my life. You're getting on my nerves So honestly step outside. I told the little boy with the dress. I was like, you know, what? you're getting on my nerves So let's go outside. That's where I fucked up. I don't know where I thought I could beat up a n But I said all right, let's go fighting stance. Here we are. I swung I missed. Next thing you know, I get knocked the oh down right my in my God. eye. Dad, why does that sound so <laughs> similar to like the other story I had? Like I tried to fight somebody in like middle school it <laughs> no, but like I tried to fight somebody in middle school and like literally I, I forgot what happened But all I know is like I was kicked to the ground and like I was literally stomped on like, like I was really stomped on it was like oh, I, you do it. I was like I never told my aunt Wait, 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 y'all dying here 
would I put in a towel down? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see how bad this was. Oh god. It's all over your shirt. I mean, it's colorful. I don't even care. <laughs> see, I don't care. Lord, but the floor. So Girl, it's okay. I'm gonna clean it up. Can we talk about something? What? Go off. I'm ready. I want to talk about why being a guy sucks. Oh my wait god. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't start. Let me finish. Not physically, but mentally. It, okay. No, yes. Okay, there yes. you go. I there you go. <laughs> Watching a lot of people raise their children, I see so many harsh differences between how they raise their females and males. You cannot show emotion at all. When you're a, a boy. You boy. can't. My cousin, he has a son. He was crying because he was scared of like either it was the dog or the cat. Mm -hmm. My cousin's ready to beat his ass. Like he was getting so actually angry. Like he wanted to fight a grown ass man type angry oh, at his wow. son just because he was scared of an animal yo like literally i remember my ridiculous. my uncle like there was this yes, big ass people in our bathroom and he was trying to get me to put it away but i was like ew 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 and, and then like he was like stop stop being a it's a sissy this at the third and like that didn't help it at all so like i started breaking down i was like <laughs> Like, I, no, but mentally, yeah, it's, mentally it's, psychologically, it yes. takes a toll because you mm -hmm. just have to hold it all. That's in why her. suicide rates are much higher than boys than girls. So don't come for me. I thought you were talking about physically. I'm like, I'm in my period right now. So do you want to fight? No, seriously, <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not. You're not allowed to have emotion. You're not allowed to have feelings. You're not allowed to say this. You're not allowed to act like this. I can't play with the boys like this because that's gay. I can't right. do this because that's this. If like, I don't do this. Mm -hmm. If I don't do this, then I'm a sissy. I'm, like, then I'm this. Yeah. So then it's kind of like the person is like forced to be down with the click. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it makes them miserable at the end of the day, and then it draws them crazy, and they wind up unfortunately taking their own lives. Yeah. Also, another thing, males have a lot of double standards. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, y'all do. <laughs> it, no, it's a lot of double standards that come with being a guy, and girls do not understand it. They understand, but they don't understand the the psychological effect yeah. of it. So, like, what's some double standards that we can name? Um, I can't think of none. I'm trying to think of some. So, um, basically, what happened is my camera stopped recording after that. Not only did it stop recording when I tried to record all three other clips of the rest of this video. It just uh it won't let me uh see it on my computer so like that's a bust i mean here's some pictures i took in the bathroom plus there's no outro and uh my hair is let's not talk about it i'm just gonna put my hoodie back on but while i have you here after this very long video if you've made it this far and since we didn't finish the conversation we'll finish the conversation in the comments so comment down below some double standards that guys have compared to girls keep in mind i said guys i'm really really upset that i can't get the footage to work at all because we had a really 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 great conversation this video was a lot of different conversations and it's kind of confusing because we kept jumping from topic to topic very quickly but it was really fun and i really enjoyed myself and i'm really happy that i did this collab with the mirror and i hope this is not the last one which it definitely won't be because it was so fun and great and cute and nice and the brownies that we made on his channel slapped i'm sorry my facetime just ended so uh link in bio to his channel and the video that we did on his channel i'm like a few days okay not a few days i'm like a year freaking late because he posted his on saturday and it's well when i'm uploading it it's wednesday yeah i mean to be fair i had a lot more footage to go through because what you guys are seeing is only like 25 percent of the footage so yeah i'm tired of talking now so uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh i saw someone do this comment down below and share this with everyone you know i don't feel like spinning around because i'm lazy and it is almost 2 a.m hey bye